Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Teniola Shibowale. The European Union is proposing a new alliance with Africa based on cooperation rather than charity, leading to a continent-to-continent -continent free trade agreement. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker made this known while delivering his State of Union speech, adding that the Union aims to create 10 million jobs in Africa. He says the EU wants to build a new partnership with Africa, an alliance for investment and sustainable jobs. Africa does not need charity. It needs a balanced partnership, a true partnership. We Europeans need this partnership as well. We are putting forward a proposal today to strengthen the European border and Coast Guard force. External borders must be protected more effectively, so we are proposing that the number of border guards financed by the European budget in 2020 to reach 10,000. We are making a proposal to extend the European Refugee Agency. They need strong support when it comes to processing asylum applications in line with the Geneva Convention. Let's get more on this story from an economist and the CEO of Kari Assets Management Limited, Mr. Johnson Chuku. Thanks for joining us on the program. Good afternoon. My pleasure. The EU Commission chief has proposed a new alliance with Africa leading to a continent-to-continent -continent free trade agreement. But how easy will it be to implement this plan? Well, for, this, for us to implement that plan, uh, the EU, EU has to do more than just encourage um, trade in terms of um, verbal statements. There are a lot of things that the EU can do to support actually uh, equal trade between Africa and Europe. Today, Africa only exports um, raw materials to Europe, and in any case, all the beneficiation takes place in Europe, and Europe exports back the refined product or, or, or processed product back to Africa. So in terms of value added, there are actually little value addition taking place in Africa. So for you to have an equal trade or equal trade partnership between Africa and Europe, there has to be a lot more improvement in, in African uh, economies' um, competitiveness such that they will be able to export more value-added products to, China, to Europe um, as well as import similar things from Europe, um, just similar to what happens between Europe and the U.S. or other continents. Okay, so some analysts say Europe is copying China's approach to Africa, focusing on trade rather than conflict. Do you agree with this? Well, this is the first time the European Union is coming out to uh, change its own orientation as it relates to its relationship with Africa. Uh, previously, like you pointed out, European countries, we are more interested in conflict resolution and kind of grants and charity in Africa. But the Chinese approach has been a form of partnership, a form of trade. But unfortunately, the trade is actually skewed in favor of China. But in any, in any case, there's some level of trade between uh, China and Africa, which wasn't the case, much of the case in, in, with Europe. But I think what Europe has realized that in its own enlightened self-interest, they need to support economic activities in Africa. Uh, remember that Europe has contiguous boundaries with Africa. And at the same time, uh, the uh, EU president was talking of how to mitigate the level of um, asylum seekers coming to Europe. So for them to stop that or moderate that, the African economies need to recover. The African economies need to present opportunities for job creation. And that's what the European Union is now trying to do. Speaking of China, there are fears in some quarters that African countries are sinking deeper and deeper into Beijing's carefully laid debt trap. Isn't the continent at risk of doing the same with the EU if this new alliance comes into force? Well, interestingly, uh, the European approach, European Union approach is that it will encourage investment in Africa. And um, if it's currently investment in Africa, that's different from what the Chinese are doing. What the Chinese are doing is to extend government-to-government -government bilateral loan, which is leading to debt accumulation in African economies. African economy. But the European Union approach will be that they will encourage investment in African um, countries that will lead to productive activities and create about 10 million jobs. So the approaches are completely different. Uh, but I think uh, the European approach, if it's uh, implemented, will be more beneficial to Africans because it will not lead to further increase in the debt burden. Um, the Chinese approach is more of granting loans to the state, which in a lot of instances, actual value for money is not extracted from the, those loans, and the dead body still remains with the state. And that's why countries 
Some countries in Africa are already suffering from huge debt burden from loans extended by China. CEO of Kari Assets Management Limited, Mr. Johnson Chuku, thanks for joining us on the program. My pleasure.